The Professional Bridesmaid is generally a good film, but I feel like the majority of it is really encouraging a negative message. This film was released in 2023. It's directed by Peter Benson and it stars Hunter King as Maggie. We also have Chandler Massey as Henry. And Maggie is our professional bridesmaid. She offers a service to brides where she is part of every stage of the wedding planning and the wedding day, basically being there to help ensure everything goes down without a problem. Of course, basically the job of a bridesmaid, but she's got a lot more experience and expertise. That in itself, I think, is fine. But the problem I have with this is the secrecy. It almost makes it seem like it's shameful to ask for help because Maggie has to assume a different identity. She goes by the name of Maisie and pretends to be the bride's friend so that people don't know that she's a professional bridesmaid. But why? Uh, The bride's father is the mayor, so I was thinking, okay, maybe they need to keep up this appearance, that they're in control and can do everything as a family and don't need help. But that's ludicrous. That's ridiculous. There is no shame in asking for help. If Maggie had just been there to help without assuming a false identity, it might not have been so bad. But the fact that they went to extreme lengths to create this backstory about how she knew the bride and changing her name and everything, it just seems to me like there's this shame in asking for professional help. And that's a really terrible message. And I feel like because that's the majority of the film, it's not ideal. And I really struggled to get behind that because anything that suggests you need to lie about your identity in order to help somebody, that's that's not a good look. So I didn't love that part of it. But the rest of the film was fairly decent. Not amazing, but okay. A lot of it is about the wedding planning, but also Maggie is talking a lot with a, a journalist, with a reporter called Henry. And obviously, because the bride is the mayor's daughter, this is a a, a big deal and something that a lot of people want to read about. And it, it's fine. Their relationship obviously begins to develop as the film progresses. And I feel like they've got a good on-screen chemistry. I have, I have no complaints there uh, at all. So I don't mind it, but I did struggle to get behind the whole concept of lying because you're ashamed of asking for help or you don't want people to know you need help. It's just, it's so crazy to me that that would even be a a thing that would be pushed in 2023. We're in an age where everything is about supporting each other and not being ashamed of admitting things are getting on top of you, which is precisely why the bride called for Maggie's services, because it just felt like everything was falling on her shoulders and she wasn't getting any help from her actual bridesmaids, which is in itself a bit of a problem. If your actual bridesmaids aren't really pulling their weight, do they really deserve to be your bridesmaids? I would say no. But the fact that she required outside help is completely fine. And she shouldn't have had to keep it a secret to the extent of creating a fake identity for Maggie. So honestly, I really struggled with getting behind that. And because I struggled getting behind that, it kind of meant I struggled believing Maggie's entire role within the film. But I enjoyed the wedding planning aspect. I enjoyed the scenes with Henry. So there were bits of it that I did like. And we have some beautiful costumes. And there are definitely a lot of positives about this. And the pacing of the narrative is good. The progression is good. Henry is probably the most believable character in this, I think. The characters in general are... Well, actually, some of the bridesmaids are very believable, not necessarily the most likable, but certainly realistic. So there were some things in this that were well done, but the concept as a whole, I just think, is kind of a bad message. And that's not to say that that message doesn't have the opportunity to be flipped on its head, obviously because... Maggie is having to try and protect her identity as much as possible from a reporter, it kind of suggests that the effort she's making might not actually be worth it. But at the same time, this job exists for her. It's a real service. And that's that's not a great look to, to be a secret bridesmaid and pretending to be the friend. I also don't understand why you'd want a bridesmaid in your wedding photos if you're never going to see them again. That seems like a terrible idea. It just seems like a whole recipe for disaster. So there's a lot of this that I just don't agree with. But as I said, there are some good points about it. There are some good things. The performances are good. And the wedding aspect is very well done. And and I rather enjoyed those. So it's not an amazing film. But if it sounds like it would appeal to you, basically, if you like films about weddings or the planning of weddings with some likable characters, as much as I don't agree with what Maggie is doing, I did like her character. 
So it might appeal to you. Check it out if it sounds like it will. But it's certainly not one I'd be watching again.